Tonight, two of the best known names from WHAS 11 are going to be entering Kentucky's most prestigious Hall of Fame. The UK School of Journalism is inducting the late Chuck Olmsted and former evening anchor Melissa Swan. They both left an impact here, not only for you, but for me as well. So tonight, a look back at their careers. Hey, have you gotten your latest property valuation notice in the mail? Doesn't it make you feel like just hitting something? Super hit. Chuck Olmsted's dynamic reporting style started filling the TV screens in Louisville in 1975. He was a trailblazer. Back in 1997, he said the floodwaters almost reached his roof. Candy Olmsted, Chuck's wife, told me what it was like from day one in Louisville until he died. It was amazing. We'd go out to dinner and people would come over and speak to Chuck and he wouldn't care what he was eating. He would sit down and talk to them. <laughs> over his 34 years on WHS 11, Chuck was the action reporter. I'm Chuck Olmsted and if you've got a problem, don't fight it alone. Write me. Sometimes in a week, he would get over a thousand people writing him and he was determined that he wanted to answer every single one. We were all shocked when we lost Chuck too soon, suddenly to a brain aneurysm in 2009. He loved to hear about their stories. He loved to hear about their lives. He wanted to know where they were going, where they'd been. Now he and his longtime colleague, Melissa Swan, are being inducted into the Kentucky Journalism Hall of Fame. The Kentucky Volunteers with the Southern Baptist Convention arrived at a Baptist church Sunday about noon. Melissa also covering the biggest stories for 31 years at WHAS. The border between North and South Korea. I remember the day I stood on the DMZ in Korea with a Kentucky soldier. And then a few minutes later, I was looking across the zone into the steely eyes of a North Korean soldier. Who gets to do that? Journalist. And making it to New York City by car on the scene the day after the horrific attack on the World Trade Towers, finding Louisville sculptor Ed Hamilton and his wife Bernadette, who had been dining at the top of the World Trade Center the night before. They told me about their experience and their grief through tears. Melissa, the evening co-anchor on these newscasts, rose to the top job from street reporter, the only woman covering the chase of two escaped Southern Indiana inmates. And I look over and the two escaped inmates are walking out with their hands over their heads. Well, I'm stunned. I don't know what to do. The first thing I thought of was I pointed my reporter's notebook at them and I said, don't you move. Chuck, the brilliant, engaging reporter loved and trusted by all, who also loved one time of the year, the Kentucky Derby. There's an obvious romanticism that surrounds every derby, but behind it, there's pressure. Yeah, this was his home, away from home, other than the track. That's what he would be saying today. He'd say, I never would have thought that I would be in the Hall of Fame with those people. Two wonderful stewards of journalism here, joining WHAS legends like Kay Wood Ledford, Fred Wishy, and Phyllis Knight in the Kentucky Journalism Hall of Fame. Well, I never could have imagined such a great career. It was a wild ride and journalism was the ticket.